This is Jack Fletcher, Media Productions reporting live and direct at King's All in Stoke. Another great victory, Jamal Liddell. Jamal, you must be feeling amazing after that win. Yeah, I'm feeling all right, man. But a bit disappointed that my opponent changed last minute. I was supposed to do six rounds and we only got the four rounds because I think he was restricted by the board. Um, he was a bit awkward in there. I managed to stop him in the third round, but it seemed like he didn't really want it. No. it was, from my point of view, watching ringside, it was a classy performance. You were picking your shots well. You never really looked like he was, he was troubling you at all at any point. Yeah, I just think in there he was trying to make it as awkward as he could for me. Um, it's experience for me. For people that, he was fighting a bit dirty on the inside, he was trying to pull in all sorts. Uh, I bet it looked like it was me the one being dirty when I chucked him to the floor. But uh, like I say, it's, it's only experience. It keeps me ticking on for the, for the next fight. But I just want some big fights now. I, I, I want to either defend my title, yeah, Midlands yeah. title, or I want to push on for the English. Yeah. Um, I feel like I've got the pedigree, pedigree and I feel like I'm ready now. I'm 28 years old, so yeah. I just want to just crack on. Like. I mean, that was a convincing win tonight. I mean, in the next six to 12 months, where can you see yourself being? I mean, you gain win after win after win after win. You want to roll at the minute, and you're at class that guy tonight in front of the, all your home fans at King's Hall in Stoke. What's next then? Definitely, like you say, it's <clears throat> win after win, so you can make me get to that, na that, that next uh, stage. And uh, that next stage where I want, I'm ready next if I could fight for the English title in November or early next year, January, February. Just got to keep winning, keep ticking on, stay patient. And my time will come when, when I get that opportunity. As soon as I get that opportunity, I'm going to grab it with, with both hands and I'm not going to let go. Yeah. Are there any fighters on the radar that you've seen that you think, you know what, I won't mind a crack at him? There's, there's quite a few here in super middleweight. Um, there's Zach Parker, but he's, he's in it eliminated for the, for the world title. Um, so I'm not quite there yet. He's already been British champ. I think he's been English champ as well. Um, so obviously I've got to keep working until I do get to that level. Um, I know there's Jermaine Smiler, but I think he moved up to, to light heavyweight. And then you've got uh, Daryl Williams. He's the one who fought for the British title against uh, Zach Parker. And um, I'm not sure where he's at at the moment um, with, with Zach Parker winning. Uh, I believe Zach Parker's just vacated so he can go for the eliminator for the, for the world title. But Anything really, I'm just a game and, and, yeah, yeah. And, re and ready to go. Like, this is what I'm in it for for the next stage. I don't really want to, I don't want to do four rounders. I don't even want to do six rounders, to be honest. But sometimes you just got to take what you can get, le learn from it, keep training, experience. And then when I, when I get those big shots, then I'm going to jump for it, man. Are you a little bit disappointed that the fight ended when it did? Um, not really, no. He, he did have a, a, a deep cut on his eye. Yeah, yeah. And as soon as I landed the shot, I knew it did damage because it did damage on my hand. My hand was hurting straight away. And uh, as soon as I landed, I thought I'm going to target on that, on that cut. And I think the referee picked up on that. And not only that, he wasn't really throwing much back. He, he wasn't giving much back. So I think from the first round after that, he was there to survive. Yeah. So uh, I think the ref called it at, at the right time. My, my last fight, I feel like it went on a bit too long in, in, the, in the sixth yeah, round. Yeah. And then, unfortunately, he had to go off to hospital. Good refereeing tonight, then. Yeah, yeah, very good refereeing. So, when, when they do it right, you've got to give them credit. And, obviously, because when they do it wrong, people want to jump on the bat like. So, what's the, what's the score now, then? Is it a couple of weeks off? Or is it straight back in the training camp Monday morning? Well, the next uh, show, Jack, is, um, I think it's 30th of November. Scott wants us out live. Right. So, it's quite soon. So, I, I'll probably even only have a week off and then straight back in it. Uh, I might this week. I might go for a swim, play football a bit, yeah, yeah. and then straight back in the in the gym life. So you got that momentum running now, fight after fight after fight, and hopefully you're going to get a big fight soon. 100. percent I believe in Scott. Uh, I know he's got the connections, and I think it's just timing. I believe in timing, and when your time's meant to be, it's meant to be. Like I wanted to ask you one question before we go, because you're from Nottingham. Are you not Forest fan? I'm a Forest fan, yeah. Are you? Yeah. Uh, you got a nice victory last night. I, I'm surprised you didn't mention it. Stoke yeah, yeah. City like. I don't want to get lynched. But you know what? I, I like Stoke, but I'm not actually a Stoke supporter. Right. I'm, I'm going to say this now. I'm an Arsenal supporter. <laughs> and, and I'm loving that 5 0. We played a reserve team, to be fair. Well, we, we played a lot of youngsters. You are in the Premiership, though. Yeah, true, 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 true. <laughs> but I thought I'd just get that in there. <laughs> thanks a lot, mate. So, thanks for your time anyway. Enjoy, enjoy the night, and uh, we'll speak to you soon. On to the next fight.